Welcome back to the Hobie in the Afternoon Experiment. Uh, doing experiments that may well one day be for the betterment of all mankind, but so far have made our intern turd throw up a bunch of times. Not saying they weren't successful. <laughs> we learned something from every one. Mostly not to be in the area when we perform an experiment. Anyway, Wendy Kelling is here with us. She is the director and producer of a movie that's in the Key West Film Festival. She is from, uh, lived in Key West for many, many years and is back to, uh, to show us her movie right here. And it's called Self-Offense. And this movie is about something that e even if, if you were the dimmest bulb on the planet, but you watch sports, you've seen it over and over lately with athletes and their wives or girlfriends or uh, girls or biatches, whatever they want to call them, and abuse uh, either allegedly taking place or taking place. Now, much of this uh, in the country, sadly, is not even reported you have chosen to take on this, probably one of the most delicate topics you could take on for your first. Is this a feature movie? Um, no, we, we shot it as a, a short um, to be kind of a grassroots campaign, specifically just So it could for be festivals. expanded into a... People have asked me about that. That was not my intention, but I'll be honest with you, if somebody would like to throw out, you know, some money to yeah, make it We have tons of way. rich people listening to this right now. So if you want me to make it a feature, yeah, just let me know. Tell um, us tell us about the, the grassroots. You said it's a grassroots movement right here, but something everybody knows about. It's one of those wink, wink, notch, notch things. It's about abuse. Yeah, I'm, and it's been told many times. And in case you weren't listening to you know any other part of this uh, interview, I, I have a little bit of a sense of humor. I don't take myself very seriously. But when it comes to serious matters like this, um, I really do. Uh, I do not, unfortunately, know any woman that I have met and spoken with, gotten to know, that has not been a victim of stalking, violence, sexual abuse, or some form of abuse. Right. It's one in three, evidently, and that's a really scary number. But I also know um, people don't like to talk about it. They think it's being talked about all the time. They're mm -hmm. a little overhearing it. So we wanted to tell new stories. We wanted to engage male audience as well, mm -hmm. and so we really thought about it when we wrote, this, wrote the script, and what we, we did is we um, engaged actors that were not 20. We, uh, all of our actresses are 30 plus, um, mm -hmm. some are 50 plus. As they've lived life. They have, and we told stories about uh, a homosexual couple. Mm -hmm. We told stories about a mother and a daughter. Um, a woman who had escaped an abusive relationship only to be left with no money and in a bad situation because so often with people... Sadly, it's a it, common tale. It does. It, it happens again. So if you've been a victim, chances are you you might be a victim again until you figure out how to break the cycle. Um, we also have a, um, a stalking situation in the film. But what we did is we... We wrote interesting characters. I have so this is not a documentary. This no, is it's a movie with a plot. It's a movie with a plot. It is a it is a fiction. It is uh, it, it is the it, the characters are interesting, or so I've been told, and thank goodness that they are. We wrapped all their stories around a uh, self defense course uh, with this lovely man. His name is Levi Montgomery, and he actually teaches uh, this course. And I had some issues with having a man teach it. But he's so warm and personable, and everyone that has seen him has told me that was the right choice. Um, it takes a set the size of Wisconsin for a guy to do that. You know what I mean? It, it to, does. To be even thought to be taken credibly. You know what I mean? But if you got the gift, you got the gift. If you know what the information is and what you're saying and how to interpret it, it doesn't matter if you're a dog. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Well, and I think what happened by using him, and it was a it was a risk, but by using him, the men that are in the room do not want to get up and leave, uh -huh. because I'm not male bashing. I'm not male bashing. When I tell these stories, I'm talking about stories, and and funny enough, um, and it's not funny. I'm sorry, that's bad. But in the Q and A's, because I try to go to every single film festival, and so far I have only missed one, um, and it was in the UK, and we were in a festival in the states at the same time, and it just wasn't financially possible. I know. I was at that one. People were pissed at you. I'm so sorry. Can we say that word? What's that? Yeah, <laughs> I can. I can. You can't. Yeah, Wendy's a wanker. She wouldn't even come say, over to jolly say, old England. Let's say pissed. All right. Yeah, they were a little pissed at, at you there. So here we are. Yeah. We are at this film festival here. You're showing this movie that has been nationally acclaimed, most likely. And what What is the, the end destination for a short film? I mean, I know they get nominated for Oscars. How can people see this film besides coming? Then we'll tell them where that is. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'll be honest with you. This film is kind of taking on a life, and I'm kind of just going to go with it. 
originally my plan was just to do as many festivals as we can to, to talk to people, but there's been an interest in showing it in women's shelters and uh, abuse centers, and now we've had some interest in distribution through online, um, which would help us to travel with the film financially, which would be right. fantastic because coming out of my pocket right now, and, and I'm, I'm pretty poor. But um, I am open to whatever. I can relate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're creative people. We're just poor. But um, I'm open I have, to anything. I have two ex-wives. That's why I'm poor. I just want to qualify. Oh, I forgot that about now. that. So, and yeah. one of them is not me. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> forgot to add the word greedy somewhere. Right? Uh, see, you should have. Well, maybe not. But I, you... Anyway, this is a conversation with two people with <laughs> massive cases of ADD. You should have heard the conversation we had before we went on the air. Tell us when we can see. The movie is called self Offense. When can we see it this week? Self Offense is playing on Saturday at 8 p.m. in the uh, Florida Shorts Narrative Group uh, at the San Carlos. Um, uh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's a great it's, room. It's awesome. It's the best room in town. So please, please, please come out and see it. I'm happy to answer questions. Will talk. you be doing a little Q&A after I, the movie or f before? I don't know. Um, but if for some reason, because it, it, it's you know we don't do q and I am happy to talk to anyone and everyone after the film either uh, catch us online email me uh, you can get to us uh, selfoffense.com uh, there's a contact you can find us on Facebook um, self offense um, we'll be there. we'll be posting so I should this just stop you. that so uh, <laughs> anyway uh, congratulations on your success I'm not gonna say I'm amazed because you are always a very creative and uh, very positive force in Key West and uh, we're a little bit worse off without you, but the world is a little, a little better off uh, with us sharing you with them. Thank so, you. Thanks for coming down, boys and girls. Keep it here. Or go listen to something that sucks worse. This is the Hobie in the Afternoon Experiment. We'll get back to the weird crap in just a few. <laughs>